Well, a lot of fan anticipation for this one, and rightfully so. A really interesting matchup, and a lot of people focused on this kickboxer trying to make a real concerted run at UFC Gold. Yeah, he's trying to make a run at the championship. We have seen him compete at the highest level in kickboxing and done very, very well. But how does he implement that fight style in the mixed martial arts? We're going to find out very soon if he can do everything he did there inside the UFC's octagon. Certainly in our fighter meeting, he talked a lot about his wrestling and grappling improvements, but he knows what the fans want to see, and that is to see him striking against this opponent here tonight. UFC champion. I'm not going to go that far just yet, but in terms of putting together a modern day mixed martial arts athlete into one package, this kid can do it all. Yeah, because you watch what you say. Guys like me will just scream, this guy's a future champion, but your word holds value, so you won't do that. But every now and again, there comes a guy that seems to have it. This guy has it. This guy, when you look at him, you see a championship belt around his waist, this can do it all. Got high level wrestling, high level grappling, high level striking. He reminds me of Kamaru Usman. Yeah. There was no I wonder with Usman. It was when will it happen? This guy possesses that type of skill. And he has sort of a championship aura when he walks into a fighter meeting, methodically managing yes. his energy. Seems to be the total package. Obviously, a perfect test for him right here, right now, at this stage of his career. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Herb Dean, he will handle the action inside the octagon. So with 18 career wins by knockout or TKO, the UK's biggest mixed martial arts star by far. Here is the former UFC middleweight champion, Michael the Count Bisping. He has battled injuries, he has battled adversity, he has battled naysayers, and Michael Bisping has emerged through it all, and his future undeniably lies in the UFC Hall of Fame. His present, this matchup tonight with a fellow top middleweight. Flips to avoid that left. And now leather being thrown on both sides. Oh, a nice straight there by Duplessis. Trying to establish the jab early on here. All right, so an outstanding job by here to secure the takedown early. Stylistically, we wondered how much resistance there would be. Not much on that attempt. Well, it's very difficult to defend with a guy like this, who is so good at chaining those takedown finishes together. Once he gets to your leg, it's very hard to try and deter him from completing a takedown. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. In the half guard. He goes upstairs for an elbow. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. You gotta be kidding me. How did he get out? 
just stayed calm. He was able to withstand the fire, and now he finds himself out and safe. This pin getting worked here from the top. Let's see if he goes for a sweep to try to get back to his feet. Pretty good work with the strike there from bottom position. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. Might be a submission attempt here, Chan. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Hammer fist here by Duplessis. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Nicely done. Duplessis back in half guard. There it is. Now he's going to mount. I mean, way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. He's got to be careful here. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Duplessis back in full mount. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Another strike gets through from the top position. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Duplessis, he's got his back again. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the ground, and the crowd is loving it. The crowd's going crazy because they appreciate high-level mixed martial arts, and that's exactly what you just got. Lands a big right hand there. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. One minute. Oh. oh, how good is this? Both men going yeah. for the finish. One, two, high kick, go. Nice uppercut inside. Come on, keep those hands up. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Stunned, trying to recover here. Big right hand there. Fifteen seconds. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Take down defense holds up. That hold sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. Ready to fight. Ready. Second Go. round underway. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Big shot to the head. Oh. In a ton of trouble right now. Uppercut attempt does not get to the target. Nice job defensively there by Drakus Duplessis. Right lands. Double jab there by Bisbee. And doing work with the jab. 
Well, you can just see he is oozing with confidence and not overconfidence, but a big knockdown in round one, likely the source of that confidence. Great. You tend to feel like you can walk through a wall. Just need to walk through a wall. He needs to continue to find the right avenues to land those shots. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Duplessis. Oh, man, the hard hook lands again. He's had that weapon going all night. It's one of his best strikes. He does a good job of turning on it, landing it, and getting back to distance safety so that he does not have to take anything in return. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Nice punch to the head. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Duplessis. Well, we told you off the top of the broadcast he could do it all, but he's leaning on the striking tonight and continues to hit his... Oh, a huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, knee strike right to the bottom. Watch out. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish it. He rocked him, he hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, he's past him trying to find that shot again. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Bisping's able to protect the eye there with that block. Nice job with his fight awareness there to raise the guard. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. He's getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Less than two minutes now to go. Yep, and he's got him secured in the half guard now. Duplessis now looking for a Darce choke. Oh my goodness, that Darce choke is very tight. Oh wow, oh! Oh, he got out! He did a great job of getting his hips away and getting back to his back in order to defend that Darce choke. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his Muay Thai game tonight. You know, why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. He started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. This kickboxer looks amazing right? A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, this is not good. Mounted crucifix, all that body weight from the top position. This could be the beginning of the end. Yes, this could be the beginning of the end. This is a very, very bad position for the bottom guy. Top guy has moved into a position where he Oh, big, big shots here. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Duplessis. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Oh, well placed with the hammer fist there by Duplessis. Volume strikes continue to rain down. His opponent really helpless there on the ground. His opponent is helpless. He's been hurt, he's been battered, he's been beaten. And now this guy's just trying to find the right time to land the strike that is the fight. All right, that is the end of round two. And Bisping's eye is in real trouble, folks. That does not look good. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see the ringside physician be called on here. He might even stop the fight. We'll see. All right, let us re-rack some replays of the damage done in that round, see if we can isolate the strike that caused the cut. Yeah, a nasty cut opens up when he lands there. It's a beautiful shot that gets to the target. He has not been responsible defensively, and he's really paying Ready. for it, because now he's dealing with that nasty cut. Third round underway. That's a huge shot right there. 
right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Flips the punch nicely there. Duplessis, nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. He blocked that punch. And now they are thrown to both sides with conviction. Effective with the jab. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage. And <laughs> This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on Bobby Lay. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, big shot. An elbow. Oh, we got blood now, folks. Doctor might need to step in shortly. We got a huge situation here. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Yeah, it was only a matter of time. You see the referee pausing the action here. They're gonna call in the doctor to look at this cut. Might be the beginning of the end here. I mean, blood all over his face. He's been beat up, battered and bruised. He still wants to fight. Yeah. Well, it looks as though the fight is going to continue. The referee checking on the athlete one more time. A bit surprising. I didn't know if they would let this guy continue, but here we go. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, so some pretty significant adversity here, but the fight is going to continue. The doctor has left, and the ref gets us back underway. He gets us right back underway, and it doesn't seem like there was a picture-perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Back to the feet now. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, he can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. Oh, he's got him hurt in here. Wow, well, that eye is officially disgusting right now. I don't know, man, if I'm a doctor, maybe I'm thinking about getting involved. Well, you can see him getting up out of his seat. You know, he's looking very closely at the damage on the eye. We may get him in here before the round even ends. Oh, in the moment. Now he's got a good body position. Yep. Another one! That's his biggest strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Look at that. You know, Trump, it's over. It's over. Wow, an unbelievable result here tonight by way of submission, and he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, seven seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an armbar. Drakus Schumann to play All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened, man. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. And his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory.